Next question is from Maddie Stu. How to know when you're training too much for your goals? Yeah, um, well, the easiest way to know if you're doing too much is if you're not progressing. Now, of course, that could also mean you're doing too little. So you think, well, which one is it? If you're not progressing and you're sore and you're tired and you feel run down, you're doing uh, too much. Not progressing and also knowing that you're working hard oftentimes means sometimes you're also doing too much. Um, la uh, sleep disturbances is a big one for me. Like that one shows up pretty early. I notice I just, I, I'm restless in the middle of the night. I just, I wake up a bunch of times and then I realize like, I think I'm pushing myself a little too hard. Another one, and I used to notice with female clients, uh, often was, was that their inability to regulate their body temperature. Mm -hmm. So if they were training too hard, they would be either really cold or really hot or just have a poor tolerance to heat or to cold. And then I knew like, okay, we're probably overdoing it. But this is a this is something, especially if you're a fitness fanatic, start to become aware of this because fitness fanatics are far more likely to do too much than too little. Now the average person, other way around, they could use a little bit more work. Well I also think that the the ultimate goal, regardless if you have specific goals with your physique, is to get to this kind of intuitive place of training. And if you're always focused on an end goal or result, you'll never get there. You have to learn to enjoy the process and the journey and do it for other reasons than just, oh, I've got this race or I've got to do this show or I've got to lose 15% yeah. body fat and you're tracking and measuring. Then you lose out on the whole, the whole journey thing. And totally. I think that, and that's kind of how I'm reading this question right now because it's kind of mm -hmm. worded different, right? It's like, it's not like, how do you know when you're over training the body? It's more like, how do you know when you're training too much for your goals? Mm -hmm. Like when you're- I, like, I, like you should kind of step away from your goal and focus on something else to right. come back to your goal to, you know, progress you instead of just hammering this very specific target. Yeah, I, I think when you know you're training too much for your goals is when you have to have goals in order to go to the gym. Oh yeah. If you have to have a goal that you you're trying to go after, which by the way is is t very normal advice that people give, like oh you need to set goals and you need to have all this stuff like that. It's not a long term and, approach, but yeah, it's a good short one. Yeah, sure. and it's not it's not bad. I'm not saying it's a bad idea, but if that's the only way that gets you to the gym is that you have to have this destination in mind that oh I have a competition or I I have this race I'm gonna do. That is not or, a long term approach. No, yeah. or I have friends I'm competing with and we put all our money in the pot. Like okay, maybe not a bad strategy to kickstart, but you don't want to stay there. At one point, you need to work out because it enhances all aspects of your life and you enjoy the process of doing That's it. That's how I judge it now. I judge it by the quality of my life in the present. Is my workout making my making me better on the podcast? Right. Is it making me feel more energized when I get home and hang out with my kids and my wife? Yeah, strong and able body. Yeah, does my body feel good? Are my workouts super enjoyable? And then that's how I'll judge it. And if those things start to decline... In my case, it often means I'm doing too much because I'm more on the fitness fanatic side. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here or you can find other clips over here. And be sure to subscribe.